Ramadan reminder. The true nature of a nafs, of your soul, is in goodness, is in honesty, helping others, worshipping only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That is the true nature of your soul, whether you are Muslim or you are non-Muslim. The true nature of your soul is in worshipping only Allah, monotheism. Prophet Muhammad sallam says, كل مولود يولد على الفطرة Everyone who is born is born on al fitra on the natural essence of human beings. And that is worshipping only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. One of the old women was asked, where is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? And she said, Fisama is in the heavens, up. So everyone, when you have problems, where do you look at? In the heavens, Ya Allah. When you have any hardship and problems, you only worship Allah. And that's even why the Kufar Quraysh, the pagans of Quraysh, what did they do? فَإِذَا رَكِبُوا فِي الْفُلْكِ دعوا اللَّهَ مُخْلِصِينَ لَهُ الدِّينَ فَلَمَّا نَجَّاهُمْ إِلَى الْبَرِّ إِذَا هُمْ يُشْرِكُونَ Whenever they go, they sail on the sea, and they are on ships, on boats, they will only worship Allah. But when they come back to the, to the land, subhanallah, and then they start doing shirk. So when you're in hardship, it's only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala you worship. Now, the, the nat natural essence of our souls is in worshiping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and being, and being pure, helping others, honesty. But we corrupt our souls. Either our environment corrupts our souls, either the people we live in, our friends, or what we watch, what we will listen to, all those which are uh, everything which is around us will corrupt our mind, will corrupt our soul. Waridalik Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu says, Fa'abawahu yuhawidanihi aw yumajisani, aw yunasirani aw yumajisani. Now he says that every child, every baby is born al fitra Islam. But it's his parents to change his belief, to corrupt his mind, to corrupt his soul. Now, corrupting soul comes with cheating, arrogance, immorality, engaging in mindless chatter, watching bad scenes and other evil. Now, all that is corrupting your soul. How does shirk come? It's corrupting the soul. How does a seher come? Bewitching others and doing evil because of your soul. You didn't purify yourself. So we understand that. We don't say that, that this person is naturally bad. No. Everyone was created pure. That's why we find our children and babies innocent. They're very innocent. They will smile to everyone. They will welcome everyone who is coming. They don't differentiate between black and white. They don't know arrogance. They are very honest with everyone. But what happens, it's our environment, it's us parents who corrupt the souls, our schools, our systems of education. That is what corrupts our souls. But naturally, our souls are pure when we are born. And that's why we have to take care of our children, especially in these times where homosexuality is rampant, other evil is rampant, our schools, our character, our values, our attitudes are changing from good to evil. So we will understand that when we understand our soul. When we understand our soul that we were created pure. You cannot say that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did not guide me to the straight path. Allah guided you. Allah gave you purity. He created you to be pure. And then it's you or the environment. That's why you have to think out of the box. In the Quran, you will find a lot of verses. Allah says, So that you may reflect, you may think, you may ponder. Don't just follow any howling. Don't say, that is my Shaykh, I just follow him. No, you have to follow your Shaykh if he follows the Quran and the Sunnah. And that's why whatever we are teaching, it has to be authenticated by the Qur'an and the Sunnah and the understanding of the ulama, the, the concessions of, of, of ulama, al-ijma'ah. 
And the Sahaba, how do they understand this? What happened? The usul al-fiqh, the fiqh. All this is, whom are you following? Dhalika al-Imam Muhammad ibn Sirin says, Inna hadha al-ilma deenun fandur amman ta'akhul deenak. This knowledge is deen. Your knowledge is your religion. Look at who you are taking your knowledge from. Who you are taking your deen from. Because this is your deen. You're worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because of the knowledge you got from your, your scholar. From what you, to- what you, you were taught. What you learnt. لذلك إخوتي في الله لابد we have to be careful on whom we are taking knowledge from and that helps us in understanding our soul as we are acting upon the knowledge we are getting so after understanding that our, no- our, our hearts are pure naturally after understanding that we are pure naturally then now we understand how can we win against whatever is can whatever is corrupting our minds what corrupts our mind what corrupts our soul one lack of knowledge al jahl and if you don't know anything if you don't know anything about islam how can you hinder your soul from corruption from al maasi from evil how will you know that this is haram and this is halal if you are not knowledgeable so lack of knowledge corrupts our souls second the environment the peer pressure the cultural pressure the parental pressure your environment may corrupt your soul peer pressure they pressure you why are you dressing like this you have to be you know you have to dress well as your peers and your friends are dressing you have to change your your dressing culture you have to you know, your peer, uh, the peer pressure, the pressure from your friends, from your co-workers, from your family, the cultural pressure, which is telling you to do some things which are haram because of your culture. Someone asks us, how is, especially in our African culture, someone may ask, well, how, how can I... How can I disobey my, my parents? How can I disobey my ancestors? لا طاعة لما خلوق في معصية الخالق نعم, we obey our parents. We obey our elders. But لا طاعة لما خلوق We don't obey any creation. If in obeying that creation, there is disobeying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the creator. So what comes first is obeying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The environment, it corrupts our soul. Weakness of faith. Al-Imanu yazidu wa yanqus. It rises and it also goes down. So weakness of faith corrupts your soul. Shaitan starts slowly into your soul and you find yourself weakening day by day, day by day, going down, weakening. Allah says, Ya ayyuhalladheena amanu la tattabi'u khutuwaat shaytan. Do not follow the steps of shaytan. He didn't say, do not follow a shaytan. He said, do not follow the steps of shaytan. Ma'ana dhalik, shaytan will not come to you once and say, don't pray from now on. No. But it will start, you know, making you forget al-ibadah, making you forget salah, making you do evil. It will call you, it will beautify the desires. It will beautify everything. And you will find yourself after one year or two that you are nowhere to be seen. Like, but if you understand your soul and you know where you're going and you understand your environment and whatever pressure is coming, you understand that this is pressure, there's peer pressure coming, a lot of pressure, but I understand that I'm on the right path and I understand my soul. I don't want the environment, lack of authentic of knowledge. Weakness of Iman, the desires, materialism, 
nationalism, all that to take me away from the straight path, which I always ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, اِهْدِنَ الصِّرَاطَ الْمُسْتَقِيمِ O Allah, guide us to the straight path. بارك الله فيكم وجزاكم الله خيرا. رمضان ريمايندر